UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT, problem solved. Since 1919, the University of Washington has been collecting and cataloging specimens of fish, eggs, and larval. Millions of specimens, and one of the largest collections in the world. My first question for collections manager Katherine Meslenikov was, what is the university doing with all these dead fish? We are a research collection, so that means we are here to help researchers all over the world. We have about 4,000 species here, and 7.8 million individual specimens. The whole collection is cataloged, databased, and available on our website. I had never seen fish like these before. So this is the anglerfish. This species is Diceratius pilatus. This is the lure here. This is actually the um, dorsal fin, and it's been modified into this luring appendage, and so it, it will glow in the dark down there. There's bacteria that is inside the lure, and it glows in the dark, and they attract prey by dangling this thing around in front of their mouth. So what is this one? This is the world's only albino ratfish. Ratfishes are normally black with white spots, but this one is stark white. It's the only albino known in the world. Okay, so here's the freak show that we always like to show everyone. Oh, man. This is our <laughs> two-headed spiny dogfish. So you can see it's got, it's kind of like a Siamese twin. It's got two heads, but one body. That it's been here longer than anybody knows. There's nobody here who knows where this came from. It's just, it's just a, a mystery. We've kind of doubled the storage size of this room by having these moving shelves. So with two fingers, I can move hundreds of pounds, hundreds of jars. All your specimens are inside of these jars? Yes, so the adult specimens are on these big compactor shelves. There's about 300,000 adults in tanks and jars. We get to see some deep sea, crazy looking angler fishes and viper fishes and you know, such fun deep sea things that you wouldn't get to see anywhere else. 